While the city of Hartford, Connecticut has seen better days, more than a century ago, it was the richest city in America. Today, it's on the brink of bankruptcy. Its bonds are junk. It's forecasted to lay off hundreds of teachers, and it owes $400 million in unfunded pension liabilities. It seems like the kind of place to be eager to save some cash, but instead, the city is risking a loss of federal funds by maintaining its status as a sanctuary city. The president said he's going to crack down on cities like that. Today, he touted his tougher immigration policies, for example. Watch. We've taken swift and strong action to secure the southern border of the United States and to begin the construction of a great, great border wall. Stopping the flow of illegal immigration, we will save countless tax dollars, and, and that's so important because the tax, the dollars that we're losing, are beyond anything that you can imagine. And the tax dollars that can be used to rebuild struggling American communities, including our inner cities. Luke Broner is the mayor of Hartford, and he joins us now. Mr. Mayor, thanks for coming on. Good evening, Tucker. Good to be with you. Good evening. So you've, you've made the... I've been, I used to live in Hartford, and so I've been following you, and I must say you seem more impressive than a lot of mayors the city has had, and I wish you well, because I think it's a good city and it needs help. And I've been following your city. arguments Thank on you. this, on sanctuary cities, and one of your arguments is familiar to me. It's that it will make the city safer not to bother people about their immigration status. And that's up for debate, of course. But the obvious question is, how many illegal immigrants in Hartford commit crimes? Or how many crimes in the last year or two have been committed by illegal immigrants in Hartford? Well, you know, uh, I talked to our police chief uh, and I asked him, you know, how much of our uh, the crime that occurs in this city is uh, committed by undocumented individuals. Uh, and the answer I get back is, uh, is virtually none. Uh, look, we are a city that is tackling our financial crisis head on. As you say, you, you were here uh, a while ago. The city has been financially strapped for decades. Yeah. Uh, but for the first time in a long time, you've got an administration that is tackling those financial issues head on. Uh, and we are fixing the structural stuff that needs to be fixed. Uh, while we're doing that, we've got to make sure that we're spending those dollars wisely. And that means prioritizing our law enforcement efforts on those who people who actually pose a risk. You know, people right. who, uh, violent criminals, uh, well, uh, gang members, suspected terrorists. And we're going to continue to do that. But, but, but the wait, way to we, spend we those dollars really wisely is not to allow our local law enforcement to be conscripted into serving as a dragnet uh, to help uh, round up undocumented individuals who pose no threat to anybody. But how do you know they pose no threat? I mean, when you say virtually no crimes in Hartford are committed by illegal immigrants, what's the number? What I'm saying is that our police chief, uh, who you know, I, I think a mayor should respect the judgment of a police chief on matters of public safety, our police chief says that if we ask our police to start serving as uh, the tip of the spear for federal uh, enforcement agencies, not when we're talking about individuals Wait, who I'm pose sorry, you're, a threat, you're, you're missing, you're missing but my in question. general, to help them round up undocumented uh, individuals generally, they're concerned that that's going to hamper their ability I'm, to I'm build sure, okay. relationships that but allow they, them to get information they and don't intelligence get to make the policy. and keep Hold the on. city safe. They work for you. Right. You make the policies. So they carry out your orders on that. And so when you devise right, the policy, I think, just I think as, you just, would want to know what the uh, number is. Are you telling me you didn't get the exact number from your chief of police? Clearly they commit some. A lot of people commit crimes. How many were committed by illegal aliens last year in Hartford? And you're saying you don't know. What I'm telling you is that our, when, j just like the International Association of Police Chiefs, which came out uh, with a strongly worded letter and said that uh, mandating local law enforcement uh, to serve as a, a dragnet to try to uh, focus enforcement efforts on people who pose no threat uh, is not the way to keep cities safe. What do you mean so pose no threat? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm going to have to interrupt your filibuster here, home, Mr. Mayor. You don't thing. know the number, so when you say they pose no threat, you can't back it up. Now, let me say... No, no, you're, case, you're misunderstanding me, Tucker. What no, I'm saying is... I don't think What I do. I'm saying is we're going to target those individuals who we uh, know have committed crimes. We are going to target... If we can't find somebody who's an undocumented individual, and that person is a violent criminal, we want that person deported. Just like if we've got someone who's involved in gang activity, or if we've got somebody who is suspected terrorist, we but, want to partner with the feds to get those people no, out No, no, but here. what you're saying, but, and I asked what, you at the outset, is how, what is the scope of the problem? Now, we know that there are a lot of crimes committed in America by people here legally. Right. And by the way, it just so happens that the top news story on foxnews.com right now is this from Bridgeport, a city not far away, Oscar Hernandez accused of killing his girlfriend and taking off with their daughter. He was caught by ICE officers, federal officers in your city, Hartford, 2013, deported. He came back. So this is a well, real thing. Tucker, so for you to say virtually no crimes are committed by illegal aliens no, no, no. without knowing the actual Actually, Tucker, number seems proving, a little irresponsible. You're proving my point exactly. You're proving my point exactly, which is that's exactly the kind of person that we ought to be prioritizing. State, local, and federal 
partners working together to prioritize people who have records of violent crime. That individual had a long record of violent crime. That individual was deported under the Obama administration. That's exactly the, the kind of feds, person we want to work grab, together to get rid the of. The feds right. grabbed but him, under and Connecticut they law, did so with the help of local authorities. That's the whole point. And you're saying my cops no, no, no. should not be helping the feds do this. No, 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 no. You're, you are not... Uh, you're either not listening or you're intentionally misleading. But what I'm saying is that's exactly where our cops are going to work hand in hand with the feds to get that person out of here. But you don't even know the scope of the problem. Look, you know exactly what's going on as well as I. You don't want to offend a political constituency. And so you're saying we are taking a stand. You're telling me, time out. You're telling me that a political constituency is uh, undocumented individuals or a political I am saying, constituency that I'm. Look, you know exactly what I'm saying. It's politically unpopular for you to say you're in any way cooperating with the Trump administration on this divisive issue. And I'm saying, no, as I have from the, the beginning, case. that you don't know the scope of the problem because you didn't ask your police chief how many crimes in Hartford were committed by people here illegally. How can you no, make policy without knowing that number? Here's what I've asked my police chief, and this is what I'm going to respect his judgment on. What I've asked my police chief is, do you want your police officers to become responsible for acting, uh, asking victims of crime or witnesses of crime about their immigration status so they're afraid to share information? Do you want to be detaining uh, people who haven't committed any crime simply on the basis if of their you immigration ask, status? If and you he ask says questions that are that no, politically loaded, because he believes it's going to make it harder for leadership. his police officers to do their job. Shouldn't you get the numbers before you devise policy? I mean, you're a smart guy. Shouldn't you get the numbers I think what rather you than should saying... Do I think what I should do as mayor, and I think what you should do uh, as whatever you are, is consult those people who are actually in law enforcement. And the International Association of Police Chiefs yeah. has a very clear view Just on ask, it, as ask does our you command know what, Mr. Mayor, and I'll police chief numbers because I take my job seriously. Okay. Thanks for joining so us. So do you have the numbers? Uh, you won't give them up. That's why I don't have them. I wish I did. You didn't even ask your police chief. When you get those numbers, send them to me. And if they really are negligible, I'll be willing to apologize. Thanks.